RafflePress already comes with a ton of great features and entries to cover most of your needs. However, there may be a time when you need a very specific custom contest entry option. In this video, let's take a quick look at how you can invent your own entry actions, which allows you to decide what you want your visitors to do. Everyone here at RafflePress loves having you part of the community, so please subscribe, hit the like button, and the bell to be notified of future videos. All right, let's get started. So here I have a clean installation of WordPress and I want to install RafflePress. If you already have RafflePress installed, please skip ahead in the video to where we set up our own custom actions. So let's head over to rafflepress.com or click the link in the description below. And we want to get a copy of RafflePress. I'm going to be using the pro version for this video. So go ahead and click on get RafflePress now and create the account that makes the most sense for you. After you have an account, let's go ahead and click on login and use your email address and password that you use to create your account with and click on login. After you've logged into your account, let's click on the downloads tab right here. It's the second one. And let's click on the download RafflePress button. This will download the zip file for the plugin. We also need the license key here on the bottom left. You can click the little icon here to copy that. We can go ahead and close this tab. Now Back in WordPress on the left hand side, let's go to plugins and add new. Here at the top, let's go to upload plugins and you can click on choose file and select the zip file that we just downloaded. Or if you're using the same or similar browser as I am, you can click on this zip file and drag it right here and drop it on the choose file button and click install now. Next, let's go ahead and activate the plugin and let's paste that license key right here. Go ahead and verify the key. And if everything was successful, you should see a green success message. We can go ahead and close this tab at the bottom. And there you go, RafflePress is installed. Next, let's go ahead and create a new giveaway. So on the left-hand side under RafflePress, let's click Add New. We wanna give our contest a name. For this example, I'll just call mine Custom Contest, but you can choose whatever makes sense for your contest or giveaway. Below this, we have Select a Template. So we have Classic, Grow Your Email List, Refer a Friend, Pre-Launch Campaign, Grow Your Facebook Page, Instagram, YouTube, or Twitter. For this, let's just create a Classic Giveaway. We'll use this template. And here on the right hand side, you can see the contest builder and then all of the details, actions, design and setting on the left hand side. If I hover over, I can change some of the details here. So if I click, we can see this text editor. So I can just change this to whatever my giveaway name is. And then a description, we can change this. Also have the option to bold, italicize and some other formatting options here as well for the text. Down below, we can select an image for the contest. Usually this would be a picture of what you're giving away or maybe a picture of your business or service or product. For this example, I found this nice picture of a beach. We'll just choose this image. Now we can click on done editing. So here we have our contest name, description, and the image. On the left hand side, we have the details for the start and end time. So you can select a start date and a finish date, and then your time zone below this. Next, let's come under the actions tab. And here we have all of the different actions that you can add into RafflePress. So again, we're going to look at creating your own, but you can see that RafflePress comes with a ton of built-in actions already. Now here, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can see there's one here under Invent Your Own. Let's go ahead and click on this, and this will add it to the entry list for your giveaway. On the left-hand side, let's create a title for this. Now some different examples for using Invent Your Own, you could maybe have somebody post a comment on a specific blog post, and then you can have them post the URL to where that comment is. Maybe you could have people upload a video to YouTube and you could have a video contest and then they could share that URL with you in this field and you could rate the different videos that are submitted to you. Same with photo contests or even a writing contest. Maybe they could have a blog that they write an article. So in this example, we have a raffle press article here, a blog post called 12 proven ways to get free content for your website. But let's say that we're trying to get more comments on our blog. We could run a contest telling people to post a comment here and after posting usually there will be a url here where it links directly to that comment so back here on invent your own we can put the name of the title i'll call this post a comment on our blog and how many points it's worth so for this example we'll put it at three points we'll make this mandatory because it's the only entry that we have right now and if we want to allow them to have daily entries for this example no I'm just going to leave it off and then you want to briefly describe what users should do. Now it says here that you can include HTML. So here I just put, please post a comment on our blog post here and then the title of the blog post. So next we can actually link this title. So come over and grab the URL here and this can be a URL to anything that you wish. Let's just open our tag and we'll click a, this is a link tag in HTML. We want to spell href equals and then two quotes. And then we'll close that. So let's just close this tag. So at the end of our title where we want the link to end, we'll just close this tag out with a forward slash A and we'll end that. So everything in between here will be linked to whatever we put in the quotes here. So let's put that URL right in here to the blog post. And that's it. This will now be linked to this page here. And if you want it to open in a new window right here at the end after the quote, we can put target equals two quotes 
and then we'll do an underscore blank and this will open a blank new window with this url inside of it here let's explain what information you need to confirm the action so here we'll just put post the url to your blog comment then that's it you just created your custom entry for this contest now of course you'll have to manually review all of these entries to make sure that they did in fact post a comment on your blog or post a video for a video contest or photo or writing whatever kind of contest you're creating. There's a ton of possibilities here. Next, let's finish our contest by going to design. You can change the layout. So you can maybe have the image up top. You can change the font here if you like. You can change the button color to something else. You can change the page background if you like. This is for standalone pages only, not when you embed it into a page, but only when it's on its own page. You can put a background image and some custom CSS. Under settings, we have tons of different settings here for general. So the contest name, the location of where we want the standalone page, if you're going to be using the standalone page, because again, you can embed this contest into any of your WordPress posts or pages. I'll just call this contest. We have different display options here, limit signups per IP. If you want to show the raffle press link on the contest itself, and you can enter the affiliate program if you like and get a 20% commission. We have the giveaway rules that you can go through with a rules generator template. So here I can click generate rules, put in all of my information for the contest and generate the rules. And this will put this out for you. We have email verification settings that you can go through, success tracking, success redirects, social logins. So if you're using the Facebook login, you have the Facebook app ID that you can post in here. There's instructions on how to do this. We have the GDPR consent and the text that you should use for this. We have the reCAPTCHA if you wanna use that. And we have webhooks that we enabled recently in an update for RafflePress. Once you're done, let's go ahead and save the contest. And on the third tab here, we have publish. Let's click on publish and you can decide how you want to add your contest onto your website. So you have the WordPress block, the WordPress shortcode, or a giveaway landing page. In our settings, we already put the URL to this. Let's go ahead and view that page. So there you go. You can see our contest here with our picture, our title, our description. We need to log in first, so we can click here, put in a name. After they've logged in, they can now enter the contest. So here we have post a comment on our blog. We can open this and it says, please post a comment on our blog post here. We can click. It'll open this in a new window where we can go down to the comments and post a comment. And then it says to post the URL to your blog comment. So we'll go ahead and do that and then hit complete. Next under RafflePress under giveaways, you can see our custom contest here. And we can see that we have one user with three entries. This is three because remember each entry is worth three points. So let's go ahead and click on the entries. Here's the user. We can show entries where it'll show their email, name, the action that they took, and then the details. For the example here is the URL that they posted to their comment. Now that you know about how to create your own custom contest entry options for RafflePress, maybe you'd like to check out this video on how to run an online giveaway for beginners. This will help guide you through the process of setting up your new giveaway. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.